Then we need to determine the plasticity index or the PI from the plastic limit and from the liquid limit that we have determined previously. So the plasticity index can be determined from the equations of liquid limit LL minus with the plastic limit PL. So previous uh, session, previous video, we have the LL equivalent to 47% and we also have the plastic limit equivalent to 15%. So now we can calculate the plasticity index by 47 minus 50%. So we have 32% for the plasticity index. Then what should we do? We need to refer to the plasticity chart. We need to refer to the plasticity chart. So this is the plasticity chart. All right, as you can see, the plasticity chart on the y-axis, we have the plasticity index. And on the x-axis, we have the liquid limit LL in percentage. Okay, we also need to understand the symbol used in this plasticity chart. So this plasticity chart is for the fine grain soil. So the symbol used, everything used in this plasticity chart is basically based on the British soil classification system. Okay, you can refer this to the British standard. So you can see here we have the uh, primary letter that will uh, indicate what type of soil. So for the M, the capital letter M indicate it is a silt soil, S-I-L-T, and C is for the clay soil, C-L-A-Y. All right, so we also have the secondary letter, which is L, I, H, V, and E. As you can see here, L is for low plasticity, I intermediate, H, V, and E is the uh, extremely high plasticity. This is the behavior of the plasticity. And then you can see here the A line, all right, the red line of the A line. So this is the divisions and the division of the uh, silt and clay. All right, uh, above the A line here is for the clay soil region. And below the A line here is for the regions of M, which is the silt types of soil. All right, so this is how we use the plasticity chart. All right, so we need to know the proper sample, uh, sample is actually located in which uh, region. Okay, so again, we refer to the plasticity charge with the plasticity index 32% and liquid limit 47%. So referring to the plasticity charge, we need to plot the value of LL 47% and PI 32%. All right, so PI 32%, all right, so uh, from the y-axis, okay, so it's around here 32%. Okay, draw a horizontal straight line and then we need to identify the liquid limit 47% from the x-axis here. So this is the 47% vertically up and then you can see an intersection point between these two lines. Alright, okay. So we need to identify the locations of point x, whether it's above A line or it's below A line. So this is the A line. So obviously, the X point here, the intersection point here is located above A line. So it's indicated that the soil is in the regions of the clay soil. You can see here, the symbol used here is C, 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 and C. All right. Then once we know that is the clay soil, so now we need to determine the plasticity behavior. So we need to identify the region of the plasticity. So this is the boundary of the uh, plasticity region. All right, from low to intermediate, intermediate to high, high to very high, and very high to extremely high. So as you can see here, as shown here, that the point X is located in, in between the regions of intermediate. All right, so... It shows that the point X is in the regions of intermediate or plasticity. So how to classify the soil? Once we know the locations of the point X, so you can refer to the classifications of fine grain soil here. 
All right, so this is how we classify the soil. This is the list. This is these are the list of the soil name based on the types, whether it's silt or whether it's clay for C, uh, referring to the uh, different uh, plasticity behavior. So knowing our sample is uh, within the uh, intermediate region, so this is the symbol CI is a clay of intermediate plasticity. So uh, finally, that the soil sample in this exercise is classified as a clay of intermediate plasticity. As you can see here, that the clay in a capital letter. It must be in a capital letter to indicate that the clay is the main or the dominant size of particle in this soil sample and then followed by the uh, plasticity behavior. So this is how we classify the fine soil.